Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a brand new episode of Dated Home Designs in Need of a Major Upgrade. You love the very first episode. I am making a brand new series out of it, so let's get right into it. Before we get started, I would like to reintroduce myself just to give you a little bit of background on why I am making this series. I'm a certified interior designer. I have over 17 years experience in the industry, 12 of which I've owned my own business. My first start in the industry was designing hotels and resorts all over the world. So I was doing a lot of hospitality design. Once I started my own business, that quickly segued into getting my hands on whatever projects I could. I was working with a lot of realtors and real estate firms, actually staging homes. I was really adept at going into older homes and telling homeowners and the real estate companies what they should keep, what they should update, what they should upgrade. And this assessment was really based on adding value to your home. What are potential home buyers really looking for? The goal here is to not only update your space so it reflects your styles and your needs with a more modern aesthetic, but we are also looking to add value to your home. So of course I want you to take all of my opinions in stride and this really is just my subjective opinion of what I feel is a dated home design that could use a modern upgrade. Everyone wrote in and they wanted me to cover the boob light. Now what is the boob light? You know it when you see it, it's a flush mount fixture that is really builder grade. It's usually used in hallways to light up entire long halls. You will sometimes see it in a living room, a dining room, pretty much anywhere that needs a light fixture and the builder just kind of plopped it in there because it was inexpensive. So the boob light gets its name from clearly its shape and appearance. I mean, you've got this frosted glass cover with a high contrast colored little screw on that looks like a nipple. It's so offensive in so many ways and you'll see it in so many older homes. The only thing that I find more offensive than a boob light fixture is a boob light fixture that is further punctuated by a decorative ceiling rosette. I mean, why? Just, I don't even know what the homeowners were thinking with this type of install. Clearly, you can see the home is really updated. It's got like a really transitional, kind of classy vibe to it, except for some reason, they really wanted to accentuate this boob light fixture. They probably spent a little bit more money on it, who knows, but there are so many more beautiful flush mount and semi-flush mount fixtures that I'm going to link for you in the description box. Moving on to dated window treatments. I have a huge ultimate guide to window treatments video that was very, very popular. I broke down a lot of different window styles, a lot of different window treatments that you could install in the space. But to me, one of the most offensive treatments that absolutely needs a modern update is builder grade blinds. Most homes start with builder grade blinds. You know what they are. They're horizontal slats. It's plastic. There's a plastic valance to it. It makes noise. I mean, I get it. You're keeping it because it's purely functional. You get the amount of privacy you want, the amount of light and shade you want. And of course, it's already there. There are so many more affordable options on the market right now that aren't custom, so you don't have to break the bank in order to treat all of these windows. I love woven shades, I love solar shades, I love roll-up shades. You can measure the width of your windows, go to your local hardware store, even Target or Ikea, and be able to mount and install all of these fixtures yourself. Your first line of defense should be the amount of privacy that you need. So that could be in the form of a roller shade, a solar shade, and if you want a little bit more of a softer treatment on the walls, you could layer with drapery panels or curtains. If you're a renter and you're a little apprehensive about removing your builder grade blinds, you can easily install shades or window treatments right over it. 
In this case, you would just draw the blinds all the way up so they're out of visual sight, and then you would install the new shades or the window treatments right over the window casing. It's such an easy fix to cover those inexpensive, cheap looking blinds. While we're on the topic of windows, let's talk about dated ruffled valances. This look just screams 80s to me. I really don't know what they were thinking of in the 80s by accenting these builder gray blinds with ruffled valances. You've got some cafe style ruffles, you've got some doily type ruffles. They come in all sorts of different colors and all different sorts of shapes. There's nothing that dates your windows more than ruffles and lace. A modern way to update this is of course to remove the ruffles completely. If you love that valance look, you could create a tailored valance or a cassette valance that's made out of the same fabric that your blinds or your shades are. You could even fabricate a cornice box made out of wood. You could paint it, you could upholster it, you can match it to the color of your walls. But to me, nothing is more chic or sleek than just a really beautiful shade. From the windows to the walls, the next dated home item on my list that needs a major upgrade are those mirrored walls. I grew up with an entirely mirrored dining room wall. I don't know what my parents were, th I do know what my parents were thinking. They were thinking that wall to wall mirror is going to expand the look of the space. While that's true, if you have one large expansive mirror, the look of fragmented mirrors, whether or not they're horizontal or they're vertical or they're little tiles, really just breaks up the entire space and it makes it look more chaotic and cluttered than it really seems. There's a really simple fix for this. You can easily remove the mirrors and install a full length mirror that fits the size of the wall. Measure your space, whether or not it's horizontal or vertical, and simply install the mirror right onto the wall. If you have one large expansive space and the length of the wall is really long, you could also break it up with full length mirrors that are framed. If you have wall to wall mirror tiles or full length mirrors that are glued onto the wall and you don't want to spend the time, the effort, the energy and the money to demolish it, you also could just wallpaper over it or paint over it. The next dated home design in need of a major upgrade are wood paneled walls. I grew up with those mirrored walls. I also had wood paneled walls in my teenage bedroom and I lived with it for so long. I mean, obviously back then, my parents weren't trying to invest any money into upgrading the home when they'd already spent so much money on the home itself. But let me tell you, wood just makes everything feel so much smaller, so much more claustrophobic. And of course, this is a 70s and 80s look that was rampant in the US. I remember getting a quote from my contractor to remove these wood panel walls and it was crazy. I mean, the amount was just so much more than I anticipated. Once you remove the panel, you'd have to add insulation, you'd have to add drywall. So it's an entire process to actually get it demolished and upgraded if you wanted brand new insulated walls. A budget friendly way around that is to either do it yourself or to enlist your contractor to simply plaster right over the wood paneling. You just have to be a little bit more generous with a joint compound or the plaster that you're using in between the seams so that you hide all of those visible seams and what you're left with is just a wall that looks like drywall, ready to paint and ready to go.
Of course, you could just prime and paint right over that wood paneling and those vertical seams simply become a part of your new pattern. So of course, think about your budget, how much you're willing to put into this facelift and upgrade accordingly. And the very last item on today's list is bulky built-in bookshelves. A lot of us might still have these bulky bookshelves or entertainment centers in our homes because they are so functional. There's a floor to ceiling storage, half of them hidden behind cabinetry. I get it. There is so much storage capacity for you to hide all of your junk hidden neatly behind all of these cabinets. But what you're left with is a really dated looking room because clearly the bookshelf takes up half of those walls. A really easy way to upgrade these bookshelves is to simply paint it the same color as your walls. If you have lighter walls, you could either paint it the same color as your walls or the same color as your light trim. The idea here is to make the bookcases almost disappear into the background. Of course, if you have a little budget to play around with, I would remove these bookcases and these built-ins completely and invest in movable furniture bookcases. If you really love the look of wood, there are sleek and minimal options out there. And the great thing that I love about furniture pieces is that they can move with you or they can move from room to room and you wouldn't have spent a whole lot of money. That's it for today's video, everyone. What did you think of today's list? Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree with my list? Do you currently have any of these dated home items in your home right now that you're looking to upgrade? You can shop all of my recommendations in the description box below, but if there's something that you're looking for or a dated home item that you're looking to upgrade that I didn't cover in this video, also let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to address it in a future video. If you like this type of content and you want more dated home designs in need of a major upgrade, Great, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video and the series with anyone you know who's looking to make some interior design upgrades in their home. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you all next week.